Category Management in Joomla. In this lesson, we'll discuss an overview of categories, how to add a category, and different options that you can have with the Category Manager. And lastly, we'll touch upon the security on access and permissions for categories. To go to the Category Manager, first you will log into the Administrator panel. You can access the Category Manager from two ways, from the quick icons, or from the menu in Content and Category Manager. I'm going to click on Category Manager now. Since we've installed default content into the system, you'll see there are a lot of categories already existing in our Joomla environment. Sometimes I keep these here just for informational purposes, but for today, we're going to add a brand new category and we'll talk about the aquarium. When you're deciding how to manage your content, the best way to do it is to make your categories as small as possible and have meaning to them. For example, we'll create a category on exhibits. We can create a category on the aquarium itself, an about us category, and things of that nature. You want to think about articles that would be grouped together naturally. We could create a category, let's say, on dolphins. But that would only make sense if I know I'm going to have multiple articles about dolphins. If I'm only going to have one article, then I can just keep it all together with the other exhibits. So that's usually my determination. If I'm going to have more than one article, I'll make a category for it. On your category manager screen, on the top right hand side, you have the different buttons in order to create a new category. To start, you can click on the new button. When you're creating a new category, you want to give the category a title. We're going to create a category called Exhibits. This is going to contain all the articles about the exhibits in our aquarium. So I will create a title here, Exhibits. The alias is where you would put what the URL is going to be when you access this category as a whole. The parent is what you would specify if you want to nest this category within another category. For now, we're going to leave the parent as no parent. The status is if it's published or not. Be careful about the publish feature. If your category is not published, that means your articles within that category will not be able to be accessed. Then you have your access. The access defines the group level that is allowed to view the item. Your next set are permissions. The permissions is what defines what you're able to actually do with this category. For example, which user group can create, delete, edit, change the state, or edit their own categories. You can define what language it's in. And after it's saved, you'll see an ID will be populated here. This is the category ID. The description is a great area to give you a description about the exhibit's category. Sometimes you may display this on the website and sometimes you may not. But keep in mind, if you display the category description on the website, this description cannot be edited on the front end. I'm going to add here a description for our exhibits. On the top right, you can define here who created the category. You have some basic options, such as your alternative layout, an image that you want associated with the category, and a note. And then you also have metadata options that you want stored specifically with that category. Once you're done, you can click either Save, which saves the category and keeps you on the page, Save and Close, which closes this page, or Save and New, which saves it, plus gives you the capability to create a new category right away, or of course you can click on Cancel. I'm going to click on Save and Close. You can also edit the options of the category. The Options tile right over here is displayed on the Article Manager and the Category Manager. Let's click it now. When you first open this, you'll see it's called Article Manager Options. For right now, we're just going to look at the Category tab because that's what we're working on. Here you can specify what your layout's going to be, the category title, if you want it to be displayed or not, the description, the image, how many subcategories you're going to show, empty categories, if there are no articles, if you want to show a message, subcategory descriptions, and number of articles in a category. Again, these are the default settings. These can be managed either at the menu manager or in the category manager itself. And then you can click Save and Close. 
In this lesson, we reviewed a general overview of categories, how to add a category, some different options you have, and the permissions that are available to you.